stop talking about yourself. Dan Wharton breaks silence on Meghan's podcast, branded it rubbish. Meghan Markle has been releasing episodes of her Spotify podcast archetypes for months and in the latest installment of her show, she interviewed her friends Melody Hobson, chairwoman of Starbucks, and makeup artist Victoria Jackson about pushy women. American journalist Megan Kelly ripped into the Duchess of Sussex's claims with Dan Wooden on his GB News show. The pair dissected the podcast, and told Megan to stop talking about yourself. Dan began the interview by telling GB News viewers the Duchess has given another masterclass in victimization disguised as a podcast. Within the latest episode of her Archetypes podcast, Megan claimed strong-minded women are branded difficult because it is a code word for BH. The American, who is married to Prince Harry, also said that while not everyone is going to like you, the goal can be for them to respect you. Dan invited American broadcaster Megan Kelly to debate Megan's latest podcast claims. Megan claimed, I wouldn't necessarily call her the B-word but I would definitely call her the C-word, clueless. She's utterly clueless and I am so sick of her off-point irrelevant musings about her non-problems. The broadcaster reminded Dan more than 100,000 homeless people are living in the state of California where Megan resides and the homicide rate has reached an all-time high. And we are supposed to give a damn if someone is calling, Megan, the B-word or difficult? Megan fumed. We don't, she doesn't get it. No one gives a damn about these non-problems. She should stop complaining and start showing some gratitude for what appears to be a very beautiful life of which she finds nothing to celebrate. Continuing her rant, Megan said, we don't care. Shut up. Stop talking about yourself and show some humility and gratitude. Dan said, who is listening to this podcast? I forced myself over the first couple of weeks as I felt it was important to listen to the whole thing but I can't be bothered anymore. I think very soon Spotify is going to regret its massive investment, Dan claimed to which Megan replied, I think this will be season one and done with this podcast. Within the podcast episode, the Duchess said, what these people are implying when they use that very charged word, bh, is that this woman, oh, she's difficult. Which is really just a euphemism or is probably not even a euphemism, it's really a code word for the B word. The GB News debate divided viewers who took to Twitter to voice their opinions, with Pippa Shea Penning, millions of listeners and her paying customers disagree. You've got to hand it to Meghan Markle, she's really used her smash hit podcast Archetypes, launched in August this year with a pause in programming to mark the death of the Queen in September, as a mouthpiece for defending herself from some of the criticism directed at her over the last five years. While deconstructing the stereotypes that hold women back, Meghan has shared her thoughts in depth on the subjects she discusses, from the angry black woman trope to the misconception of ambition, which she discussed with global tennis champion Serena Williams in her first episode. Now she has been asking to be or not to be with Starbucks chairwoman Melody Hobson, the first black woman to be chairperson of an S&P 500 company in 2017 discussing the ways in which the term bitch is most often used in lieu of words like difficult or pushy. In other words, it's a term to gaslight and shame women out of being forthright in what they know they want and deserve. What these people are implying when they use that very charged word, is that this woman, oh, she's difficult, Megan said on the podcast. Which is really just a euphemism or is probably not even a euphemism. It's really a code word for the B word. My friend said to me, there's a certain point when you come to terms with the fact that not everyone is going to like you, the goal can't be for everyone to like you, but the goal can be for them to respect you.